Hi, I'm Joanna Penn from Mystery Thriller TV and today I'm reviewing James Rollins' Devil Colony. Now, I'm a huge James Rollins fan and yes, I bought this in, uh, you know, book form instead of Kindle form, which is my, my normal way, um, because I was actually in Canada and found this in a bookshop. It's not even out in England yet, so very exciting for me. Um, so I love the Sigma Force novels and I've, I've read all of them and, uh, you know, I'm a real fan of Painter Crow, so I was pretty excited that he plays a big part in this book. So the book opens in the past with the discovery of this gold-lined skull um, that is taken to Thomas Jefferson, you know, sort of back in those days. Um, and then the book skips to the present as two young men trespass into this holy uh, Native American site where they find all these mummified bodies sort of sitting there have, having committed suicide to protect the secret of this uh, gold skull. That's sort of the setup for the book and opens, you know, with all those mysteries, you know, what is the skull and, um, you know, what is it doing there? And also, who are this tribe? So murder and suicide um, sort of start this adventure off. And then we have a, a massive explosion, um, which, because it's in a Native American site um, in a Mormon area of Utah, sort of spark these racial tensions. And we get that in the book, which is quite interesting. I personally don't know that much about American, um, early American history, colonial history, um, or Native American history. So this book has a lot of aspects that are very interesting to people who, who haven't, I guess, learned that at school and things like that. Um, but anyway, so the book soon escalates. Um, there's this devastating explosion that is first blamed on a Native American girl, Kai, uh, who just happens to be the niece of Painter Crow. Um, but also it then turns into this sort of antimatter that starts eating the ground and um, sort of threatens to destroy everything. And if it gets down to the core of the earth, it's going to erupt, it's going to destroy everything, basically could end up destroying the world. Um, you know, good thriller premise. Um, so essentially we have um you know Kai's involved she she brings painter into it so sigma is sort of brought in um at the same time we have uh one of sort of an old enemy turned good guy, a uh, good girl, uh, Sei Chan, who comes back and says that she's found clues to um the echelon who are the sort of sigma's ultimate bad guys um are the guild and the guild is sort of another strand of the multi-book plot that Rollins has spun. So we have uh, Grey uh, and Seichan going off to the archives to find out about the Great Seal and about some of this this side of American history. We have this other stuff going on um, and the chase uh, to find these other sites to stop this nanotechnology, which is actually what it is, uh, taking over the world. So there's, there's a whole stack of threads in this book, which I think made it quite intense, as in there's a lot of different history and because I didn't really know anything about any of it um, it was you know probably fuller than Rollins other books have been but that again maybe because I didn't know that much about it so many strands um, you know I, I learned more than I have out of the National Treasure movies or Dan Brown about um, you know sort of early American history so that's interesting the snippets of truth and snippets of his own research into nanotech um, as well as the historical stuff so that's that's fascinating we also get some good emotional character stuff um, we get um, Seichan and Grey who've had this sort of on again off again thing um, you know going on sort of tension between them across multiple books we've also got the sort of nice um, monk and cat thing going on in the background um, there's the niece and painter um, and we've also got a bad guy I should mention the bad guys always good bad guys um, the bad guys uh, Rafe San Raphael something like that um, um, and uh, Saint Germain and his sort of uh, dark, silent Ashanda, sort of big Amazon looking woman who, who has no tongue. And uh, they have this curious relationship that makes them more interesting than the usual sort of cut out bad guys. So essentially, if you like James Rollins, you're going to buy this book anyway. If you haven't tried a Rollins and you're interested in the American history side, nanotech, um, I would say this is definitely a great book to go for. So that's James Rollins, Devil Colony. Thanks. I'm Joanna Penn from Mystery Thriller TV.